The topic for today is impaired insulin, insulin resistance, impaired glucose tolerance test, prediabetes, diabetes, heart attacks and strokes. Wow, that is a very long title, isn't it? Well, would you believe it, however, that all these steps are interconnected? And would you believe that you can do something at every step of the way in order to change your fate and destiny? So let us take a journey through the human body and let us explain these terms for better understanding in what your role is in your health. Let us remember that the 16th century physician said, we are as old as our arteries are, and I will add to that that ultimately we are what we eat. So the journey begins at the cell level, the billions of small units in our bodies and their mitochondria where the energy is being stored, processed, and then released. Imagine now this whole process in the body as a business. It has its employees who have to be healthy and happy and dedicated to their company, your cells. The administration carrying the orders and making sure that the process runs smoothly, your hormones. The upper administration, all your organs. The chief executive officer, your brain and the queen mother of all glands, the pituitary gland. And the board of directors who constantly checks that everything is done properly, your hypothalamus. These constant checks and balances are so amazing that we are humbled at the idea that we cannot even imagine such a sophisticated computerized system in our world today. Yet we all have it in our bodies every second. So let us see how this works. The insulin secreted by your pancreas may become abnormal, be a little slow, not the same excellent quality and in different quantity when the food ingestion is being done. It may start 10 to 20 years before you would develop diabetes and knowing that you have it, we can then prevent it. The second stage would be when we tell you that you have prediabetes or glucose intolerance. By this time, however, years after the first stage, your pancreas has lost more than 30% of its capacity to secrete insulin. The third stage is when you lost now more than half of your pancreas. Now you have diabetes. However, all three stages are associated with the risk of heart attacks and strokes because they all damage your vessels. Imagine that insulin is a switch in the business of fat and sugar. Once the insulin is damaged, the sugar is not being processed properly and it gets in the way of the fat process unit. It influences the bad and the good cholesterol in a dangerous way and your arteries start to be clogged up and then heart attacks and strokes and other complications can occur. So now after this fascinating journey, let us see, is there anything we can do about this? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. First, if you have diabetes, make sure that you see a specialist for diabetes, an endocrinologist. Secondly, if you do not have diabetes, think that you might be in one of these stages of prediabetes, even if you are lean and trim and fit and everything. If you have a family history, if you are inactive, if you are obese, if you are overweight, if you have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, you should have this evaluation to make sure that you are not pre-diabetic, to make sure that your arteries are not clogged and to make sure that you prevent heart attacks and strokes. So please do remember that we are as old as our arteries and we are all what we eat. Let's try to have this evaluation to prevent pre-diabetes, diabetes, and clogging of our arteries.